Hello all, welcome back to the channel. You're about to witness episode 14 in my Liverpool rebuild. Last time out we um we had a bit of a, a bit of a roller coaster to be honest. We uh we'll have a look at the fixtures and we'll just show you how this all played out. So the final five games of the season we left it there, we started in May. Two one down to Forest at half time. I went absolutely ballistic at the boys and we ended up scoring seven goals in an 8-2 win. We then went away to Everton, Merseyside Derby. We scraped a 1-0 win. Uh, I think Nunes might have scored very early. Then we somehow managed to lose to Southampton 1-0. Um, they still got relegated on that day. Nunes had a goal disallowed in the last minute. Went to the Emirates. We lost 1-0 here with an Odegaard goal. Nunez definitely had disallowed goal, which meant last game of the season, um, we had the advantage over City due to goal difference, but we ended up winning 3-0. Didn't start off so well. Salah missed the penalty early. Nunez coming with the hat-trick. Uh, as you can see down here on the bottom, if this will allow me to have a look properly, it probably won't. But basically, we we won the title with 90 points and basically got the job done on goals difference. This is where we left off last time. As we go through, so these boys are going to be missing the FA Cup final. Liverpool players expect this. Okay, uh, I will just set them for release. Uh, if it's going to let me. Okay, that doesn't help. So, a few boys coming back. Tyler Morton looks quite handy, to be quite honest there. Uh, obviously, Lucas Susic, who I bought in. Um, Connor Bradley, his three stars as well. He just won Player of the Year. It's, it's almost going to be... See how that goes. Okay, so we lost the eventual winners in the Europa League. Uh, I believe that um, when it comes to uh, the English clubs, they are just so much better than the rest of everywhere else. I expect, you know, you've got Real Madrid and you've got PSG, you know. Um, I, I think other than that, clubs are pretty much left in the dust. Simicas set for move to Juventus. Well, now let me tell you something now. So, Simicas, last time I believe I looked, he was only worth about 29 million. So, when they're saying they're discussing terms on a deal which is around 63 million, I am going to snap your arm off and you can have him because I'm looking for a new left back anyway. He's on my list of players to go. Uh, don't get me wrong, he's actually been really, really good. Um, but I can get in players that are going to be have a lot more potential to get past where Simicast is. So please put in that bid. <laughs> I'll, I'll be over the moon with that. Um, Chris Wood, player of the month. Well, this is a really, really good thing to uh, to have here. <clears throat> Mohamed Kudos has won the Europa League Golden Boot. But also, he's won the Europa League Young Player of the Season. Striker? Okay, that, that's quite nice to know, if I'm honest. Look at his value, by the way. How much did I buy him for? Twenty one million pounds. I think I think I will go over at some point and I will go what I've uh, purchased players for to what they are. I think that could be a cracking bit of business there from Mohamed Kudos. Oh look PSG as well. Okay. He 
Yeah, come back home with a trophy. Now, th th this is really, really, uh, really, really handy. I mean, are they serious? So it's major interest from Juve, minor from PSG. Now, I just want to put this in into context um, for those of you who may remember or may not remember. So what my plan is here is I'm looking to offload. Jota is a possibility. He is very good from the bench, though I will give him that. He, he, I'm looking to offload him. I'm looking to offload Kelleher. J Jota might stay. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Kelleher is one to go. Simakas is one to go. Um, I did say about Bishetic, but I might keep him on. I mean, he's 18 years old. He's got really good potential. Um, I might keep him around if, if something comes in loan-wise. I might, I might do. We shall see. Fabinho... I don't know. Possible. Garnetto's going back. Um, he's asking to leave his Curtis Jones. Um, he can go. Uh, he is one of the other ones to go. Matip is going to be a player to go as well. His value is going down something chronic. I am going to offer him out. Now... And I'm going to offer him out for twelve million pounds, and just hope somebody has some interest. Susic is back in a Liverpool shirt, which is fantastic. Arter is going home. Ben Doak will be back. So I'm looking to offload a fair few players here. Um, players coming in, obviously Bellingham is my main man, I'm actually in consideration of possibly going down the role of looking at Declan Rice. If I get an opportunity to sign Declan Rice, I will 100% offload Fabinho. Uh, that's without a shadow of a doubt. No offers for Matip. I will transfer this Matip. Fafana is back. Okay, it's FA Cup final day. Then what I'm looking forward to in next season, obviously, is bringing in a whole host of new players. And not only that, all right, we'll just put Fafana on the bench. I have just noticed Lucas so Susic has got loan next to his name. I'll have to look into that. This is a team I'm going with. Um, other players I'm looking at, there is uh, Kirk Az, who is the left back. I'm very interested in him. Um, the, the Georgian goalkeeper. I'm possibly looking at him. Unless... Um, something else pops out at me but I really don't know at the moment 100% now there, there are a fair few Brazilian forwards that I am looking at now in regards to that I've got to say I'm going to cut myself off here but Everton are dominating me at the moment and I don't know why and they've got more shots um, yeah there, there is um, I think it's Yao Victor Darwin Nunes is offside. Three goals in the last four games. That poor bugger has had goals offside. I'm going to try and fire him up. I don't know if it's a good thing to do or not, but Salah has scored and put us ahead. Henderson over to Jota. Oh, it's fizzed in and Salah at the back post knocks it in. Um, yeah, Endrick, Jao Victor, um, there was a couple that I've sort of taken a liking to. I think there was a winger as well that I really like the look of. Now, with these players, um, they will come in, and I don't think they will be 
coming straight into the side because I think they have to, they can only sign when they're 18. So it'll be another season before they actually join. But the plan is is to loan them till maybe they're like 20, let other clubs develop them, and then just see where we're at. And if I can flog them for a profit, brilliant. Um, if I can really make use to them and someone like Nunes or Fafana doesn't do anything, then, oh dear. To be honest, it has been coming. Um, Everton have actually been really, really good and they've had so much more of the ball here. Um, so it is a, um, there, there is an investment plan uh, in view of that. But um, I really don't know Wow, we are 2 1 down. What actually is going on here? Like, we, we, we've been fantastic all season. What's Becker done now? Um, so yeah, so there, there is a plan. Uh, what to do exactly, I don't know. We're going to have to go very attacking here, and I'm going to have to. Um, make some changes ready here because uh this is not working at all it's almost like everton have got the better of us so let's see if we can swap tiago and if i can ever find him andre santos right down the bottom now no yeah again it will not allow me to do it oh don't do this So Andre Santos can go in the number 10 role. Thiago comes back here. He needs to be a deep line playmaker. We'll even go support and push him forward. Now you, as I stupidly made a mistake, Jota can go in the 10. Andre Santos is going to be substituted, <coughs> excuse me, with Fabio Carvalho. We'll go a little bit, I think we've already gone, uh, we will now go very attacking. We really need to uh, get this going now. And just hope for the best that we can get something, I mean... Good start. Seller with Harvey Elliott, yeah, that's fine. If if we don't win this, we don't win this. It'll be disappointing, but obviously we got to the final. Shouldn't be losing to Everton. But it looks like it's going to be a final disappointment at this moment in time. What a shame. I certainly can't watch that. We will skip that on. <laughs> Uh, angry is completely right. They were not good enough. Um, that's really bad. I expect the board not to be happy over there, to be honest. Yeah, exactly that. Receive a million pounds. Yeah, it's a little bit disappointing, to be honest. That officially completes our first season. Um, overall, I I really can't knock the boys, if I'm honest. I've, I've just gotten a quick pick by accident, which is not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to come over here and I want to go to clear entire team selection. So... On a whole, so just, just I'm gonna, I, I did say I was gonna do this. So, Zabani, of, so he's worth 32 million. We paid 12. Antonio Silva, worth 71 million. We paid 33 million. Andre Santos is worth 33 million. We paid 6.5 million. Actually, it's a really good season for Andre Santos, to be fair there. Lucas Susic, 41 million pounds. We paid 
14.5. Now I think I'm not going to set him for loan. And also in his development. That's absolutely fine as, as that is. Oh, wrong button. Joe Bellingham is worth 16.5 million pounds. And we paid 6.5 million pounds. Kudos, as you saw, 60 million pounds. I think I paid 20, 21. Schluderlup is worth 41 million pounds. We paid 6 million. Fafana is worth 30 million pounds and we paid 3.5 million. Nunes is worth 92, Salah 129, Jota 78, Luis Diaz 84. Just to give you some Thiago 49. I mean, Henderson was uh, Fabinho was 80 million. Um, no, wrong one, one. Van Dyke, 67. So that gives you a rough sort of idea on how that all works. Transfer window, five days left. I'm not going to put in any offers until the transfer window opens. Um, probably everyone's favourite. Oh, look at this. End of season review. I knew there was no such thing. So if we click that, yeah, I totally agree. So are you going to let me have a look here? All right, okay. So Kelvin Ramsey, Aberdeen, 4.2 million. Antonio Silva, however, we feel the player's wages are far to, are too high for his place in the squad. Hopefully, I'll prove you wrong. They're content. Can't get nothing for it. Right, this will be interesting. Players out, Adrian, they're pleased with the deal. Could have got a higher transfer fee. They're very disappointed with Oxlade Chamberlain, who made a loss. Well, yeah. Disappointed to sell Firmino, could have got a higher transfer fee, he was out of contract. So I don't know nothing about. Loans out. I'm not probably going to see a great deal on their season's results. Won the Prem. Champions League. So, so we got a A- minus for the league. Surely it'll be A+. Plus. Can't get any better than that, can you? <clears throat> Champions League was a D, poor C minus there. FA Cup was C plus. Carabao Cup was a C. Community Shield was a, a C plus. Moments to remember. I like this. Quite nice. Biggest win, <clears throat> eight 0 over Tottenham. Match to remember was six 0 over Newcastle. Goal of the season, Thiago. By the look of things, finances. Okay. Your success definitely helped the club's finances. That's good. Um, Shirt-wise, it looks like Diaz, Salah, Darwin, Jota and Alexander-Arnold are good. How I lined up. We rotated the team a fair amount this season. However, our key players played a major role in how we turned out. Um, that's probably my best side, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, Conate could be swapped out with Silva. But to be honest, that's probably about as good. The accolades. So, um, Darwin, player of fans, player. Darwin got young player. Signing of the season was Antonio Silva. Goal of the season was Thiago. Uh, can I scroll down any more on that? It doesn't look like I can for whatever reason. Record breakers. It's a shame you can't. Oh, oh, do you know what? If I click, it would help, wouldn't it? Worst discipline for being the yeah. youngest goal scorer was Ben Doak over here. 
Uh, you can look and do it. It is top goal scorer with Nunes with 48 assists. Trent with 27. Player of the match is Darwin with 9. Salah had the uh, the best average rating. Van Dijk would have completed. Competition awards. Well, of all the players, eh? History in the making. The spell of football at the start of the season was the making of Liverpool. It set them up for success, I agree. They say it's important to get off to a good start, but it rings true as well for Liverpool as they celebrate winning the title. Not worried about my timeline. We will finish that. OK. Club meeting and vision of expectations. I'm going to have to negotiate here, aren't I? Play attacking football is desired. Play entertaining football. We've added this as we want the club to play high tempo pressing football. Work within the wage budget. Grow the club's finance uh, reputation. Work towards being the most reputable team in England. Win the Premier Division. Required. I oh, will just confirm. New team report. Injury report. End of squad break. And we're heading towards our old transfer window now. So it could work out, obviously, that, you know, I mean, time does fly on here. Hopefully we will get towards the friendlies, um, which I imagine will be sort of mid, mid July by the end of this. OK, after careful deliberation, the Liverpool board have adjusted the youth development budget. Yeah, we know a little bit about that, don't we? So hey, I want to sign him. I want to sign him. I want to sign him. <laughs> so between those two, that's twelve million pounds. So I'm probably looking at twenty five million for them. Is he Al Gomez? I'm not sure he's gonna be good enough. Loan list notification. My client has been placed on the loan list. Now he was the one with the contract. He signed a new deal. Okay. He signed a new deal. He had a uh, clause in his contract that basically said he had to play, uh, I think it was 28 games to get a contract in. So how much would 22 million? I think that's going to put me off a little bit there now. Um, he's definitely a talent I might look at at some point or another. If I can get him on loan, I might do. Um, I think he's going to be a much better option than uh, Garnett, Joe, that's for certain. It all depends on who else wants to come in for players and and things like that. A, a lot depends on this, on, on who I can sell as well. Mane has got top goal scorer. Canate can't get in. Will there any be deals? Areas to improve. Liverpool were after, apparently, Memphis to pie for 98 million. I don't think so. Okay. Pin not planning a spending spree. That couldn't be further from the truth. <laughs> I am, and it will be basically on players that I am interested in. So here we go. This is um, this is probably what it's all about right now. Alban Lafont. There's not many goalkeepers. They've got 15 recommendations for goalkeepers. I I am in the market for a goalkeeper, so we can have a look here. Uh, 
Livakovic. I believe that is the goalkeeper of the, um, the football manager football show. Ken Maguire has not great on potential because I'm looking for a potential goalkeeper. And I'm not paying the sort of money they're asking there for him. Six near matches. Diogo Costa. Okay. That's fine. It's not a problem. Shortlist. First up, we, we, we've got one player and one player only that uh, we need to be having a look at here. Uh, it is most definitely going to be this man here. He's the man that I I need to uh, I need to invest in. See, it says the offer must be accepted. I'm just going to muck about and just see. So if I lower this to 83, but then if I add on, if I do so, like, something like this, so that'll be 11 million. I don't think this is a thing. Yeah, see, it, it's, it's not a thing. So we need to exclude that. Come on. Okay. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. That is for certain. I'm gonna be I'm gonna reserve myself on a um a goalkeeper just for the moment. This is the left back I'm looking at. His stats are phenomenal, if I'm going to be honest with you. And he can play like on a proper wing back. He's the man I am interested in. I can't give you this. Oh, they, they actually want that 40% there. And there's a, that's a lot of money for add-ons there 3.6 make it free you know what so I was going to offer them 18 and a half so with that so let's go for an offer of 22 million pounds 23 and a half I want to get this down to 22 and a half then. Didn't really want to be playing this game, but... Okay. We'll finalise that offer. So that, that, that deal there, that allows me to uh, try to offload Simicast. So that there is 17, so it's 111 million I'd have already spent. Paul Wanner, you haven't signed a new deal yet, have you? No, I'm so hoping I can get a hold of him. Let's see what we can do with Victor Locke. So they're classed him as a winger, but he looks like an out and out right. He, he's got some interest from some teams, Everton and Fulham. Okay, I will just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick in league goals at a million quid. I'm also going to stick in international appearances. 
a million quid. Just see what happens. They feel as though they can get more. An improved offer will need to be submitted. Okay. Always make it Champions League. I will... I'm not surprised that this is a thing, to be honest. We'll give you that. And we'll just see where that goes. So, so far. So, that is that part done. This is the next part. So, we'll start here. Curtis Jones, we're going to offer you out. How much would I be willing to I will offer you out for Okay, so I'm gonna offer you out for twenty seven and a half million pounds. But if somebody comes in with twenty, I will take it. Simicast, I'm not going to offer you out directly just yet. Matip, I I need I need you gone, like so badly. I need you gone. Look at the interest from some of these teams now. Okay, this this is a case of just getting a player off the books <coughs> for um. Even the wage aspect of things. Matip. Kelleher. See, I'll, 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 there is more here. Like Jota. Was he wanted at all? There's no one there. Is it worth me just offering him out? Just to get some feelers. 79 million. So we will look at 65. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. We'll, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll throw them out. Is there anyone else I feel as though I'd like to get rid of? I will leave it at that for the moment. Well, there there is some offers. I can see three loads of offers, which is good. Negotiations with Bellingham. Good player, a big pay rise. Long term, well, I'd like to certainly win the Premier League next season. We'll finalise that. What do you want? £245,000 a week. Yearly way rise, you, you are you are absolutely not having that. I need to reset. So I've made a mistake there. Yeah, you are not having that. Here's here's just uh accepted. We will finalise that deal. That's a massive deal. Okay, Milos Kirkes will give player a big pay rise. We'll find a loan move to assist player development. Okay, that's fine. You're not having that, that is for certain. Let's see if we can. Slightly put you down a little bit to what you're asking now. He's okay with that. Okay. See, they've asked for him to go back. I'll accept that. That is fine. Right, interestingly enough, offers made for Jones. 20 million, please. 
five. Oh, one's not negotiable. A couple of others are. So if that's negotiable, I asked for 27.5. So that's 11 million difference. So if I can... Let's see if I can persuade them with 23 million. 18.25. Let's accept it. It's money that could be good. We will, we will probably reject that from Napoli. Brighton, let's see what you can do. So I'll offer them the same at 23. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just accept it. So they've, uh, they've locked that on now, which is the worst thing you can do from my perspective. So, okay, it's one possible. Joel Matip. Okay, so nine million pounds. It's 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 not ideal, but do you know what? I will accept all offers just because it's a case of getting him off the books. Jota, now I put him up for sixty five million. <laughs> I absolutely do not think so. Tottenham, get out. Right, okay, so I put up 65 million and they're offering me, so they're, they're, they're literally offering me half of what I feel like I should possibly get for him. So if I want 65 for him, so he was worth 70, yeah. I need, I need at least... 50, 45 at a minimum, right, okay, Spearing can go absolutely wherever he wants, as far as I'm concerned, we will accept all offers, I could not even give a monkeys, but this here is where it's about, so Real Madrid, you are money bags, So, 65, and they've offered 36. So, I want to be looking at about 52 million acceptable. Okay. I may have just shortchanged myself a little bit there. I don't know yet. Now, this will be selling to a direct rival. So I'm going to give him 55 million. 40, no. 52 million, or it's rejected. I'm rejecting your offer. Milan, if you can offer that 52 million, then you're in play. If not, he can look at Madrid. Okay, so the teams outside of the Premier League were prepared to pay the money for him. So basically, from these three players alone, providing they all go a 61, that's going to be £80 million pounds just under, just made on them. The board are probably not going to be happy with some of them departures. But 
Gordon has returned. Wolves chasing Matip. He doesn't want to pay any attention. He has no intention. I've uh, also thought I'm probably going to be nowhere near looking at um, Northampton. You can't really all accept that. Uh, nowhere near at the end of this video sort of going towards friendlies, but <laughs> that's just the way that it works. Darwin Nunez comes second. Victor Roque are looking for a deal worth £14 million. And conditions rising to... OK, let's negotiate. It is left to be negotiated. That's what we want to do. So this 40% is locked. So I will knock that down to this. And now you've upped it. 50%? Are you kidding me? So you wanted 17, so now I'm getting a worse off deal. Yeah. I'm cancelling that offer. I might have to look at sort of percentage of profit from next sale. That's a hell of a lot. So what I will now do is I will go into my recruitment. I will go back in for him at some point. Just not right now. We're going to look at Enric. Preferably, I am looking. He's got a minimum fee release clause of twenty-two million. But that's only for domestic clubs. Interesting. Well, I've just basically turned and said, I'll give you 13 million and they've accepted. Now, so basically he wouldn't be able to come for another year, which is fine. We finalise that because there is no... Um, Clause in on that. We we are more than happy with that. Napoli have won the Champions League final, beating City. Endrick is not interested in contract talks. Wow, he is just flat out. He could have come, and I could have loaned him back for a season or two. Wow, that is a. Uh, that's pretty shocking. I was not expecting that to have been a thing. Uh, so it's a goalkeeper I've been looking for. This guy's stats, I think, are outrageous. He's got a minimum fee release clause. Can I sign him for less? Yes, I can. Seventeen million pounds. I might have been able to get him for less to be honest, but we'll we'll snap their arm off and, and literally take him now. Uh, in the recommendations, so considerable interest, and they want him back on loan. Now, that's something I was not expecting. He wants to be back up, so which, is, which is fine. It might just mean I might have to keep Kelleher for another year. Let's lower that wage a bit and see what happens. Okay, we tried it. <laughs> Goalkeeper has been a... Okay, we'll accept the loan.
3.18 million euro for Champions League revenue, 23.74 million for the ranking poll. Okay. Now, where does that keep us on the finance side of things? I so see we're still 9 million in the, in the in debt. No players have gone through transfer wise yet. Although, I think, okay, stadium redevelopment, keen for it to be all over. Yep, I agree. They'll take the club further than ever, and hopefully some of these signings will as well. A work permit for Kirkes. We've been hit for a tax bill with £12 million. Pounds. Okay, so we've got some good stuff there. Has that hit the bank or is it on my... Oh my goodness, look at that. Sponsorship, £201 million pounds, and it has hit the bank. We love to see that. <laughs> Yeah, he, can, he do you know what? I'd, I'd like him to, to go, if I'm honest, full time. Leicester have made an offer for Connor Bradley. I like what I see above that, and I'll deal with that in a moment. So, I need to... So he's worth 2.5 million. Northern Irish can play wing back. I've already got two in there already. His contract ends next year. I know he's just done really well. I think I will negotiate the offer. I can give me that to start off with. Forty percent there. If you can give us fifty, we just got ourselves a uh, a trophy just for being a wheeler dealer. There, um, he, he could sell quite well. I think that might not be a bad move. This is the one we've been waiting for. Jude Bellingham has come to Liverpool. 96 billion deducted from the transfer budget. That's a big, big signing for us. And I will get another trophy for that because I have just broken the, uh, the transfer record for the club. Okay, fantastic. He's come in. Borussia Dortmund's wonder kid. He's not anymore. He's our wonder kid. I will be going back in for him as well, Victor Roque. I just don't want to. I think I will actually pay more money for him instead of um, allowing the, uh, the clause to be in there. There we go. Confirmed. Okay, Connor Bradley have come in 2.4 million each. That's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. Marma Diashvili. The transfer window is in full force. It's the part of the game that we all love, and then it's a case of moulding these players into what you can think you can get them to be. Liverpool identify Upamakano, 52 million. Not right now, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Leeds have made an offer for 
Owen Beck. It's worth 400k. It doesn't look too much. We're going to negotiate it a little bit. Okay, so 150k, 12 months, we're not worried about that. We will just see if we can get this up to 30%. They're okay with that. He's going to be a player that's not even going to look or get him involved. So, Mama, that's really, I've just saved myself six, seven million pounds on him. So, we're running out of money. <laughs> um, we're now down to fifteen million pounds, but a lot of that is going to get topped up in a moment. I hope anyway, dependent what uh what happens with some sales. Mama Das really is back off to Valencia. Diaz is back. I'm not sure whether that was the right thing to do, but maybe if I paid him off, it might uh, might encourage him to go to Madrid or uh, or there you go. Well, Curtis Jones has rejected contracts from Brighton and Wolves, but Jota has decided to make the move. Fifty-two million pounds. Just curious, what did Liverpool pay? I think it was around forty. Forty two point five. So we have made a profit on him by rights. We have accepted that deal. And Matip is also off to Madrid as well. Nine million pounds. Now I think he was a free transfer if my Liverpool memory serves me correctly. He was a free transfer. So we have made money on these players even though they probably haven't been the greatest of deals for the club. But Curtis Jones has rejected, which is not ideal, but he could have been persuaded by Napoli. <coughs> Milos Kerkes has come to the club. And he was to be loaned back for it. Yeah, so he's to be loaned back. So, okay, it's a, it's a really good start to the transfer window. I filled up three positions that I wanted to fill. Um, Kelleher is now going to stay at the club. Uh, we need to try and offload Curtis Jones for sure. Guide value is 17.5 million. It might have to be a case of offering. And if I can try and get. So if I offer for 19, let's just hope that they come back, that Napoli come back. They have made an offer. I just hope it's around. So it's looking like 16.5 million. non-negotiable again we will accept so we signed Kirkes they've made a big profit on him only signed him for 1.7 million so um, I'm pleased with my business so far let's just see if Jones ends up going to part nope or should I turn around and say Napoli when is Sabani due to come back? Okay, he's coming back in a couple of weeks. Spearing. Away we go. You can go to Shrewsbury. You don't even have to come back if you don't want to. <laughs> 
PSG have just brought Ruben Neves for fifty-two million pounds. Okay, so promoted, let's be completely honest. If you were gonna put money on three clubs to come up, it was gonna be them three. <laughs> Brentford have made an offer for Angelo. Now he was one of the ones I was looking at as to say like I might be able to make some money on him. So they're asking me about Jota. I assume that, that move can't go ahead right now then, no? First of the seventh. Okay. Connor Bradley is going to Leicester. So that includes that 50% percentage, which is absolutely fine with me. So we've gone along quite nicely. Um, the transfer window is in full force. Um, Connor Bradley has gone to Leicester City. Uh, is Bellingham? Did Bellingham actually make the? He he is straight in at Liverpool, which is fantastic. Uh, I wasn't sure whether he was. He's obviously one player that's going abroad. So really pleased to get a uh, Jude Bellingham in. Uh, is there anywhere here I can sort out squad numbers? I know there is a way. I can't remember how to do it now. Off the top of my head. But, on that note, we're, we're, uh, we're practically there now. I'm just going to forward that. So we've got a little while to go. We're basically on the verge of coming up to friendlies. I'm not sure whether I need to arrange them or not. I will look into that in a moment. Curtis Jones has rejected Napoli. This is an absolute nightmare for him because he's not going to get no football with me. But on that note, that will do for this episode. We have... Um, Certainly had a good start to the transfer window. Um, so just to show you now, we still have 55 million in. I have got to sort out my wage budget, which I will do now. If I can, budget adjustment. I will get this finished. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, please give this video a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We will catch you in the next one for more transfer business and pre-season. Take care.